Alright guys, we're back and today we are doing the teleportation effect. So this effect is actually very, very simple. We're going to try to do it all in Premiere. So you don't have to go into After Effects like the other one or any other plugins. Uh, you wouldn't have to use anything like that. It's just straight in at, um, Premiere or Final Cut or whatever it is you use. But we're using Premiere this time. So first thing you want to do is you want to drop your files into into Premiere and uh, FY this is already graded so uh, you guys feel free to grade however y'all want your video so this one's already graded. Also guys whenever you shoot for this effect you're going to want to shoot it on a tripod. It's going to give you the best results unless you have like a motorized slider that can do the save movement repetitive. If not, just keep it on a tripod. You're going to want to get the subject running or whatever, or standing, however you want to do the effect. But you're also going to want to get a blank shot. So you're going to put the blank shot under the subject that's running. And then you're going to create a mask around the subject. At the beginning of the clip, you're going to create a timestamp for the expansion. You're going to go a few frames forward, and you're going to bring that expansion to a negative so what's going to happen is that your subject's going to basically collapse or it's going to yeah it's, it's going to collapse on itself or it's just going to bring in that mask into where it disappears uh where it disappears the um the subject so if you play it back it's going to look like this which i think personally that looks a lot better than using opacity where you just fade out So once you got that done, you're going to want to get the shockwaves. And I'm going to put these shockwaves in the link for you guys so you can go ahead and download them. You're going to put the shockwaves on the clips. I have about six or seven of them on here. Uh, the shockwaves are going to come in. A, they're going to be white with a black background. So what you're going to do is when you drop them in there, you're going to go to your blend mode and you're going to put them on screen. And as far as the color, uh, all you have to do is drop a tint on, on them and you can put whatever colors you want. I chose white and blue. Uh, but like I said, you can choose red, purple, whatever you want, whatever whatever fits your scene. You're gonna, put, you're gonna drop these chalk waves in here and they start out very slow, so they fade in in a, in a sense. So right when your subject is beginning the teleportation that's where you want the peak of that shock wave to to already be so just it's, it's, it's going to be down to aligning this to at the right moment but once you have it on there the the expansion mode just helps it blend in so much and having a, a whole bunch of different shock waves on there all in one instead of just throwing one you throw a few of them in there and it kind of kind of covers it up and makes it more of a smooth transition but that that's really about it guys real simple doesn't take that long to do uh hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you got any questions drop them down in the comment section just make sure to like subscribe and follow us for more future tutorials all right see you guys later